you guys. So today we are doing a toy haul stroke cat boot haul stroke the cat. I don't know. We're looking at some stuff. So we're going to start with, I've got all this stuff around me. Um, so we'll start with this. Sherlock, the action figure. Now I was at the cat boot yesterday, picked this one up um, for £2. The box has had a few dints in there, a few moments. As Mr. Cumberbatch on the back, Sherlock. Somebody lost a quiz the other day because they asked for things that had Bandit Cumberbatch in it, and they gave the answer of Sherlock Holmes, and they didn't allow it because they said, "Well, technically, it's Sherlock." Oh no! So there is the nice um, little artwork. It's kind of weird that it has all this box, and that's just the bit that's kind of advertising him. Yeah, that's I don't know. It seems kind of weird, but anyway. It pack includes violin, uh, phone, skull, and Sherlock. Legally in the back. Remove all packaging materials, including but not limited to any stickers, strings, plastic ties, tape, and or other fasteners before allowing any children to handle this product. There you go. Hmm, San Diego. So yeah, let's get him out of the box. Oh, yes, it opens like that. So you have Watson, Sherlock. And there is the man himself in there. Now, yes, this is second hand, obviously, you got a kaboot. The skull is missing, but ah, for two quid, it's worth it for the figure. Um, the violin also, this, the, this bit doesn't want to stay where it was put, but that's the fun of these things. I spent 10 minutes trying to open the top of the box and then realised that you, you were open it. So, yeah, I am no Sherlock Holmes. Thank you. Yes. There's Watson. That keeps falling out. So, uh, try that down there. We have his bow, violin. There is the violin, which is rubber. Nice rubber violin. And here is the man himself. Mr. Cumberbatch, Sherlock himself. Um, he's got dark black jacket on. Dark black pants. Kind of a maroon, maroon shirt and a nice blue striped scarf. And a very serious look on his face as well. And this figure, uh, articulation wise, sort of your basic stuff. It's, it's a bit like the Doctor Who figures. There is no, oh, there is a bit of out. Oh, there we go. It will go out a little bit. And the legs, they also go out a little bit as well. It's got, I don't know, it's quite a nice articulation, that. Yeah. I presume you can pose him. And he play a violin. Try I think yeah. It must be that way around. Ah, that's got the chin rest on it, so I guess it would be. Sort of like that. Yeah! I don't know, I like it. I think it's nice. For the couple of quid I paid for it, it was pretty cool. Oh, he also has, he's five inches tall, and he has a mobile phone, which is basically just a small piece of black plastic. Yeah, you know, I guess he was held in with some ties there. So that was a pretty cool purchase. I, I must admit, I got really excited when I saw that. I was like, oh, I'm having that. So we'll pop it, that violin thing is not staying. There we go. And we also got, uh, tilt this down a little bit. There we go. This, which is, I got this off the same person. It is a TARDIS. A little dusty. Uh, I do already have one of these somewhere on the shelves around me. I don't know where he is now. Oh, he's over there. Um, as you can see the size of it, it's, it is quite small. This one I think I'm going to start packing in my bag and taking it places with me and just doing that and taking a picture for Instagram. Yeah? I might glue the door shut because the doors do open and it's obviously the... You see that in there? It's the David Tennant, Christopher Eccleston era interior. The doors do, not all the stickers are right, but like I say I might glue the door shut because it is a, there's much matter there. It is a bit of a problem, you know, keeping the door closed. Uh, so while we're on the subject of Doctor Who, oh by the way, that cost me the grams and total of 50p, which I was really happy with. We got also this, which is a 
um, Funko TARDIS, as you can see. Uh, I didn't get a figure with it, but I already had a David Tennant. So, yeah. Uh, the doors do... Well, one door opens, the other door is... Yep, that's locked. That one door does open. It, it's kind of weird because it's, it's hollow in there, so you can, I guess... Put your doctor inside it like he's peeping out. That's it's really weird because that looks like a that looks like a sticker, but it's actually kind of printed on it. You cannot scratch it off. As is that, which is nice, very nice. Yeah, I kind of like this. I am still trying to get the um, B and M Tardises, and it's oh, it's become a right job. I can see everybody else that seems to have them except for me. So, yeah. I will get them, eventually. So, what else do we have? Oh, we'll show you these. These aren't really um, action figurey, but they are cool and I to get them in Kaboo. It is a tin, let me do that, to keep your sandwiches in, from uh, Fallout. Yeah, Fallout 111, that's nice. And it opens up in there, and it has, uh, Keychain, shot glass, and some kind of postery thing, I think, like a banner, which is nice. Um, and it does need dusting, not just block. I've also got that, which I, th I think probably goes in it. He has got a few scuffs on his face. I'm going to try and clean that up a bit. But you do know what that means, don't you? The, the, him sticking the thumb out. That's how far away the nuclear explosion is. It's a great way of telling, apparently. If you're ever going to be in a nuclear explosion. Yeah, so I got that. That was pretty good. And we also got a nuke cola. Um, what is it? Book thing. It's, it's, a, it's a journal. Yeah, a nuke cola written in the bottom corners. But I just love that artwork. I think it's brilliant. I, I, I like that old sort of sci-fi artwork. I also got a hoodie um, that goes with it, apparently. But you won't be able to see much of this because I can't really. But yeah, it's got that on the front. And down the back. And it's, it's blue. It's a hoodie. Yeah. Which is very nice. Oh, I also got a baseball hat. Which is kind of nice. Yeah. New cola. Oh, I also got, I keep getting excited about this, that as well, which is a, now everybody pay attention here, it is a lentricular, that's right, lentricular print of Batman and Robin. And this is my Batman, this is a Batman I, I grew up, well I didn't grow up with, but my dad had comics of him, and they're the ones I read. So there you go, that's that one. So now we have, and I hope you've all hung around for this, the best part of the show. So I woke up to this cabo uh, last week, and I see... Something, and you know when you, you have that moment where you go, oh my. So we have, and there's something strange in your neighbourhood. Who are you going to call? The Ghostbusters. That is right. Now I think, because I've been trying to find out online, these are like with Mattel made figures. Um... I I already have so they're up there Peter and Ray, which I picked up uh, a while ago in a toy store that was clearing them out, and I was like, oh, I've got one of them. These two I I later tried to get, and they were just so expensive, and I kind of gave up. But these, the all of them, it was a fiver, and I was like, yeah, I'm having them. The weird thing is, right, the the likenesses on these guys is pretty close, but look at Peter. I mean, that is do that. They never get Peter right. I think they get upset because his hair's thinning and I don't think he'd be happy if they showed him with thinning hair. So if you guys like these and you want me to do a full like rundown of these in their own video, then please leave a comment at the bottom because, you know, I'm always looking for more things to show off. Yeah, that's Pete. Ray's not too bad. And he has... This... Uh, Pete has... 
his backpack's obviously missing, but the one I have already has that, so I'll cover the ears. But Pete, Pete and Ray will be going in my spares box. But yeah, that is a nice proton pack. Very nice. And they've got, you know, some of the accessories and things around here. Uh, I think that cable may have broken, but yeah. I like them. I, th I think they haven't tell. I'm sure somebody will tell me that who made these, but I have a review of Pete and Ray ooh, that I did back in the Dark Ages. I'm sure you guys can find that. Yeah, they're very nice, very nice figures. Look at that face. He looks a bit like Harold Lloyd. Go back and look at that. It's a guy from Black and White Films. Um, so I am going to try the new acquisition that we have. The turn So I'm going to put that on there. Until I see how this works. There we go. That's... Hmm. How far back can we get this? There we go. And see if they'll st stay stood up. <laughs> the table wants to turn as I'm putting them on. Yeah. Race feet are not flat. There we go. So yeah, there Egon, Ray, Peter, and Winston. Yeah, or oh, Zedmore, as it says on his top. So yeah. I am pretty proud with what I got this. You know, sometimes you go to Caboose and you come back and you think, well, oh, I've got nothing there. Um, but this, this last couple of weeks, I do feel like I've picked up some pretty good stuff. Um, I know that last, the other week I did miss a huge Darth Vader uh, and some other stuff, but... Oh, well, no, no day is perfect, is it? There we go, put that back there. Put that in there and the nice thing about this is look he's he's reasonably oh, similar scale they're actually quite tall of the ghostbusters i didn't really realize that he was a bit smaller so yeah that is some of i'll put the rest of it on because i'll take up too much room that is pretty much my cab boot haul for the last couple of weeks or my toe hole, or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, hope you all have a great day. Hope you have a great night. And like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.